Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see by the title of the video, today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the Desi Times KD collection and I'm super excited to, uh, to freaking film it. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just so freaking excited. And I did a unboxing and a review with Kathy on my channel already that I'm sure you guys have seen. Um, showing you guys some swatches and the products and everything on our face, but I didn't get to actually play with the eyeshadows and create a look, so I wanted to do that completely separate from the unboxing video. So here we are today. All right, so today's video is going to be a talk through style tutorial, so I'm not going to talk too much right now. So if you want to just see how I got today's makeup look, then you know what to do. Please keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm super excited. I brought you guys in a little bit closer. That way you guys can see the makeup a little better when I'm applying it. So per use, I'm going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine is all busted looking now. So the first shade I'm going to apply is Silk Cream. I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush to apply it on my crease and pretty much on the inner and outer corner as well. As you can see, we're doing pretty much like a halo eye. So we're going to be bringing all the shades from inner to outer corner, leaving the center blank. I'm kind of like doing inner to outer corner sweeping motions like this to really round out that eye. I feel like it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to be doing basically the same thing with all the other eyeshadows too. Of course, leaving that center open. So the next shade I'm going to be going in with is Creamsicle. And I'm just doing the same exact thing with that shade. So the next shade I'm going to be applying is Mocha, and I'm just going to use a very smaller, thinner brush to apply it on the inner and the outer corners, and then I'll blend out slightly and then connect it on the top to really create that halo effect. And then slightly turn the brush on its side, and don't pick up any more eyeshadow. Just use whatever is left on to connect those two sides. Now taking a fluffy brush, I'm doing the same thing and just blending it outwards and upwards. And I have a little bit of mocha on the brush as well. And I'm going to repeat this step just a few times to build up mocha and then I'll use darker colors to deepen it. But I really just want to build up that really rich brown shade. You know, I'm not like mad at the fact that their eyeshadow palette doesn't have any matte shades. It's just like a palette I I don't own. I don't have any of those shades in my collection. Of course, there's, you know, bronzy shades. I don't have anything like what they created in their little quad. So far, I'm freaking loving it. I loved playing with it yesterday when we unboxed it, so. Okay, so the next shade I'm gonna be going in with is Central Park with this really pretty rich dark brown shade, and I'm gonna use that to just deepen that inner and that outer corner, but I'm not going to blend that color up too high. I wanna keep those darker colors closest to the inner and the outer corner. That way it just fades out really nicely. And then slowly connect it. And I'm doing little flicking motions going up. I'm taking more of Mocha on a blending brush and just smoothing out Central Park a little bit. And with my big fluffy brush, I'm gonna apply a little bit more of Creamsicle. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit of the black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know how to say the name still, so I'm just telling you guys um, that I'm using that color and pretty much doing the same exact thing. And you really want to keep it low. You don't want to bring it up too high. So before I start adding more color and really building everything up a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the center of the lid using some concealer. Now I'm pretty much just going to keep building up with those same colors until it's the amount of intensity that I like. Alright, so this is pretty good for right now. Now we're going to add the center of the lid shades. And this is what the palette looks like. Oh my god. So the shades that I used are Suze, which is this lighter champagne yellow goldish tone, and then um, the shade Noli. And I think it's super cute that they named them after their dogs. I wouldn't have expected anything less of them. They love their dogs so much. Those are their children. So I think this is super cute in dedication to them. For this, I'll use the mirror. I'm going to use my pinky to pick up a little bit of Noli and apply it right on 
the sides of the center. Kind of blend that out a little bit, just like that. And then Suze is one of the eyeshadows that has to be used wet to get the full pigment out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and damp my finger using some setting spray because like I mentioned in my unboxing video, I would forget water and guess what? I did, but luckily I have my setting spray right here conveniently because I would be like, dang it, I'd be so annoyed if I had to go downstairs, you know? So, so my finger is slightly damp, gonna gently tap. And I learned on this side that a little bit goes a long way. Like, you see that, you guys? It is like a little flaky, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's because you literally only need a little bit. Like, you do not need a lot of this color. Pick up my blending brush and blend it out. So now that the center is on, I'm gonna take a little bit more of Central Park and apply it on the outer corners with the bigger fluffy brush. Do some flicking motions. And then taking another blending brush just to smooth it out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna take this just bone flesh tone matte shade from my um, Naked palette, my Naked Two Basics palette. It's super cool, you guys. If you go to Urban Decay's website and go to this palette and scroll down, you'll see my little face. If you follow me on Snapchat, back in May, um, Urban Decay put my picture on their website underneath their All Lighter Foundation, their Naked Smoky palette, and this palette. Um, but it's gone everywhere else. The only place where the picture is still at is for this palette. So if you guys want to go see it, you guys can go check it out. I mean, it's kind of cool to see my little face there. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that black eyeshadow and just apply it to the lash line to smoke it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe. This one I already used <laughs> when I did the other look and I was cleaning up some makeup. But just use this to clean up the edges. So for lashes today, I'm going to be taking these Wispy Lashes by Ardell and then top them with the Kiss Lashes um, in the style Flirty. It's my favorite combo, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll be right back. So I went and did everything else off camera as well. I actually went out and bought a new foundation earlier this morning because when I did the unboxing yesterday, my foundation color just did not match me. It looked so bad, you guys. I know. I know. And I feel like it really altered like the highlights for my skin tone because they will look so good on me because Kathy has the same exact skin tone as me and they looked amazing on her, but she had a matching foundation and your girl did not. So I'm going to show you guys my highlights and everything too as well. Um, but I'm going to just start with the lower lash line. As you can see, I did everything else off camera and you can tell that my foundation already matches me so much better. So I'm so happy. So I'm taking the first transition shade that I use, which is Silk Cream, and I'm just applying that all over the lower lash line, and then the same thing with Creamsicle. I'm just gonna dip into that. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So now that that's applied, I'm going to apply Mocha on the inner and the outer corner, leaving the center open on the lower lash line for Seuss. And I'm kind of connecting that eyeshadow to the eyeshadow on the top. Got some setting spray on my finger. I'm just dabbing it so it's not too, too much. And then I'll dip into Suze and apply it on the center there. Like you see, you see that you guys like, oh, uh, like I want to like be like honest and say something bad about it, but I really cannot say anything bad about anything from this collection. Like I really can't. Like I truly, deeply cannot. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. And as you can see, I do have my um, waterline filled in with some black liner. I use the gel liner from uh, e.l.f. Okay, so now that that is done, the eyes, we can go ahead and move on to the glow. I'm going to be taking Le Fuego right here, this beautiful, beautiful shade. And I'm just going to apply that with a fan brush. I'm actually going to take my Morphe M510 instead because I think I get like a better application with this brush. Ooh. Put some up here. I'm even gonna put some on the center of my forehead because why the hell not? Put some on my nose. Before I forget, I don't know how I forgot, but I'm gonna apply my inner corner highlight and I'm actually using Fuego to do that. Applying it on the center and then using my finger to kind of blend it up. I'm gonna apply some setting spray and then top it with Mitame right on top 
of Fuego. Yeah. See, I was seeing like a pink cast yesterday when we were trying um, on the highlights and I don't see it anymore. So it was definitely the foundation color. Take my stippling brush and kind of just go over it all. So that is pretty much everything done. So let me put my hair down now. I think I'm gonna go in with Sauvage. Sauvage just sounds, just sounds right. God. Oh, I love that color and it's so rich and fully pigmented. There's like no streaking at all. I think it's so nice. So now that we have that lip on, I'm going to apply a little bit of Mirame on the Cupid's bow again. Because I really want like a nice highlight right there. Okay, so this is pretty much the look done. I want to go ahead and show you guys the eyeshadow palette up close and show you some brush swatches compared to the finger swatches. I don't know. I just think it'll be a nice little twist. This is Sue's and Sue's is supposed to be used wet, but I'm not. So I'm just going to do it right here on my arm. So there it's Sue's and it kind of builds up flakes when you don't have a lot of moisture. So that makes sense why it needs to be used wet, but even without it being wet, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to take Suze again with a dry brush and it's not picking up a lot of color. I could see that already and let's just see. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. So now I'm going to finger swatch Noli and then do the brush swatch. So I'm going to apply it on my finger, do a full line straight down. So Noli's pretty pigmented. I really, really like that shade. I think it's super pretty. Taking the same brush with nothing on it, I'm going to dip into Noli. This picks up on the brush a little bit, but let's just see how it performs. And that's the brush swatch. So I'm wiping off the swatches, so my, my arm's getting a little red. The next shade I'm going to do is Turbo Sun. This one does not have to be applied wet. We're going to go straight down like that. We're gonna see how this performs. I can already see that there's nothing on here. Let's just check it out. And the last one I'm gonna finger and brush watch for you is Harpoon. This one has to be used wet, so I'm gonna use it without it being wet first. Again, just like Sue's, it picks up pigment, but it's just flaky. So that's Harpoon with it being dry not with a wet finger so my fingers a little damp now so I'm gonna go back into harpoon much better when your finger is damp now let's do a dry brush you guys we already know how this brush is this is like not picking up anything like there's literally nothing on here so let's just see okay so obviously so those are the brush and finger swatches of the eyeshadow palette. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, but yeah, that's really going to wrap it up for this video now. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like the look and you like this video and you're going to get the collection, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already because it means so much to me when you do. I love you guys so much and I want to take the time really quickly to thank each and every one of you that does show me love and that does support me. It just means so much to me and I can never say how much it means to me. I can never explain and put it to words. So I just want to thank you guys so much for everything and giving me love and liking and subscribing to my videos. Um, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And I'll check you out on my next one. Bye.